dozens of fires burning in the Kamloops area, Thompson Rivers University appears to be doubling down on its wildfire research activities. This month, two National Voices for Fire Research started new jobs at the university. Dr. Jill Harvey, a National Research Chair for Fire Ecology, primarily focuses on the history of forest fires. Um, as we try to understand the patterns of forest, acti forest fire activity um, in the past. So looking at when fires occurred, how often they occurred, how much of the area in the landscape was affected by fire. While Dr. Michael Flanagan is the newly appointed BC Research Chair for Predictive Services, Emergency Management and Fire Sciences. We also want to build programs for fire occurrence prediction. By doing that, then you'll know where to expect the fire ignitions and where to expect the extreme fire weather, and if they overlap, you move resources there. The width of the each individual tree ring and actually the cells included in each of the individual tree rings give us a lot of information about climate, about insects, and also about these fire events. While researching opposite ends of fire science, Flanagan hopes to collaborate with Harvey to enhance both their research. Um, I think there'll be opportunities to either share students or start to look at common projects together that uh, I, I look forward to exploring that with Jill. I think that um, my ecological research will provide some insights into how, um, how we can better manage these forests going forward. Both scientists agreed Kamloops is in an ideal spot for forest fire studies and they hope to include a First Nations perspective in their research. Sequatma communities um, around Kamloops and elsewhere in the interior parts of British Columbia to see if there's some intersections where um, my research approaches as well as their traditional knowledge can come together uh, to provide a, a, a better picture of, of historical patterns of wildfire in BC. I hope to start working with you know, Indigenous peoples as well as the Cattlemen's Association. There's lots of people affected by fire and we have lots to learn. With Thompson Rivers University's development of a new fire and forest ecology center, the university is positioning itself to be a potential leader in wildfire research in Canada. For Castnet News, I'm Sydney Chisholm.